In this video, I'm going to explain how to copy photos from Flickr to Jigsaw 360. So first of all, if you go to Flickr and search for Equirectangular, so this is the format that 360 degree cameras use to create 360 degree images. So if you scroll through, and you can see there's 25,000 to go at, scroll through and find one that you like and click into it. So you can have a look at these, scroll them around, and if you find one that you like, if you click the download button, and for the file size you want to be greater than 4096. So this is the next one up, so that's fine. Okay, so I've downloaded that. I'll now go and show it in the folder. And if we right click and say open with Microsoft Paint, and I'm just going to resize it. I'm going to change it to 4096 pixels by 2048. Now if you don't do this step it will still work it's just that that size is a little better performance. So I'll save that and I'm also going to right click and rename the folder, uh, the file. And the reason for that is the file name will show up in the game. So if you make it a little more meaningful it's easy to scroll through them. So I've now got the photo ready. So if I right click and choose copy and plug the quest in. So you can see I've got my quest plugged in. Uh, if it's the first time you've plugged it in you may need to put the quest on and accept some permissions in the headset. So if we click into the internal storage and then into pictures I'm going to right click and create a new folder and call it 360. So this is the folder that Jigsaw 360 will look in for its custom photos. So once we're in there, I'm going to right click and paste in our image. And that's it. So that'll now be available in the game. So if I flick to this screen, we can have a look and see what's happening on the headset. So inside the game, the first two pages of photos will be the standard ones, but you'll now see that we can scroll to a third page, and this is where your custom photos are going to appear. And that's it. Now, if you find that this third page doesn't show up, it's likely that you've not given permissions for the game to access the storage. And that's typically something it asks when it first loads. So if you do come across that, if you hover over the icon for Jigsaw 360 and click on these three dots and you can go into permissions and when you go in there you can just toggle the switch to give it permission to access the storage and then everything should work fine from then on.